What's up, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. Well, it's official. Love is Blind 3 cast members, SK and Raven, have announced their breakup. And this comes after two other women that SK was dating at the same time that he was dating and, getting, and engaged to Raven from Love is Blind stepped forward with receipts of his infidelity. You guys, it has been so wild to see these women come forward with proof, with photos and whatnot. The second woman who stepped forward, she had been with him since 2019. He was in a three-year relationship with this woman. And he had the nerve to go on Love is Blind 3 complaining that when he goes on the dating apps, women filter him out because of his race. How embarrassing. How shameful. I don't even know what to say. The way that this man... I almost, I almost, listen, I want to be nice and pretend that he played me too. I want to say like the way he played us all, but he did it. Remember guys, I had a video. I stuck my neck out with a video called SK is a real villain. The undercover villain of love is blind. I got dragged. I called him. I got called a man hater. I got called. What do you call the opposite of like, what do you call those people? Um, a misandrous. I got called a misandrous for seeing through this man, okay? And come to find out he lived up to my expectations of him being a whole ASSF boy. Go back and watch the season. You'll see this relationship exclusively revolved around his wants and needs that only for him to dump my girl Raven at the altar and then start dating her as a girlfriend when that was not like the point of the show. It was a mess, right? So anyway, he and Raven just released official statements about their breakup. And he is, it seems like he's threatening to sue the woman for coming forward with receipts of his cheating ways, which is cute because listen, rule number one of the law is that you cannot sue people for telling the truth. Okay. So ladies, don't be over there shaking. Don't be scared. There's nothing this man can do about you guys telling the truth about him and his wandering peen. Okay. So SK, they have the exact same um, statement, right? So that's SK, as you can see in the username, this one is Raven. Um, and so this is what it said. We're saddened to announce that we've decided to go our separate ways due to ongoing legal proceedings surrounding these allegations. They're not allegations. They're the truth. We cannot provide additional details and ask that you please respect our privacy during this hard time. Thank you for following our love story and believing in us. I did not believe in no damn SK Raven. I believed in you, but that's okay. This journey has forever shaped our lives and we are so grateful for everyone who's been a part of it. Your love and support means everything. So there you have it, you guys. Due to legal proceedings surrounding this allegation, I'm sorry, but I find that to be a bit of a joke, right? Like, what can SK do about these women stepping forward and saying that they've been dating him? They showed photos. They showed videos. They showed text messages. They showed Instagram DMs. It was all black and white information. They did not make anything up. I know that some people are speculating that perhaps um, kinetic content or whatever. Netflix as a distributor are upset with SK for blowing up their spot. Uh, they're not supposed to publicly embarrass each other like this before, after the altar, perhaps there's a certain kind of a contract where you have to maintain the facade of a relationship. Remember we saw it with Danielle and Nick. They were long done before they're after the altar, but they were not able to announce it until that special Perhaps he breached his contract by slanging that thing around and playing every woman in town. I'm not sure, but I'm leaning more towards believing that he is threatening to sue the women for coming forward with receipts and proof of his cheating ways. And if that is the case, I find that to be shameful because at the end of the day, if he stayed faithful to girl one, girl two, or Raven, none of this would have happened, right? So He's got nobody to blame but himself at the end of the day. The behavior is disgusting. The behavior is dirty. And the behavior is trifling. Um, I, I really do wonder how Raven feels at about all of this. Because I really, truly do feel like she fell in love with them at a certain point. I don't think you can fake the love in your eyes. I always saw a sparkle in her eyes um, towards the end of the show. And especially at the reunion, whenever SK came around. I didn't really see it in him for her, but I saw it in her for him. And this has to be heartbreaking. She has to feel blindsided and she has to feel humiliated. And I truly feel bad for her. And I hope that she heals from this and finds somebody 
who treats her right and who does ultimately deserve her. Oh Lord, you guys, let me know in the comment section what you think about this. Is SK threatening legal action against the other women for coming forward with receipts about him? Or is kinetic content threatening to sue SK for blowing up their spot and ruining the after the altar segment? And speaking about after the altar, do you think that SK is going to have the nerve, the balls, the chutzpah to show up to the after the altar? Or has he embarrassed himself and Raven way too much to even show his face. Make sure to let me know all of your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. And as usual, we'll chat. That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.